as you can see, as you just saw, there's everything in this film. There's a live birth, slow motion sports, there's a divorce, a marriage, a death. Uh, and like I alluded to before, what you see on the screen had to have been shot. Whenever you see the man with a the camera, there's somebody else shooting him. Yeah. So he had an assistant, you know, those of you that are film people know that he was riding in a horse along with the other carriage. So he's trucking along with an, on another track. And then of course all those shots where he's on top, where he's hanging on for dear life on, a, on that train. Well, there's somebody on the top of the train shooting him, yeah. standing there, you know, no safety net. And I'm thinking, I've got to do something that's as daring as him, although <laughs> I don't put my life at risk. Is that a question? Yes. Yeah, I'm curious, how many drafts, uh, how many drafts did the score go through, and did you compose together with your musicians um, in sessions, or how did that process work? I composed every note myself uh, ahead of time, with the exception of a couple of improvisatory sections. There's a long drum solo, mm -hmm. which is very intense, and uh, and then I asked Jason to improvise over the top of that. Um, and there's the place where uh, Rainer, playing cello humorously with the stop motion stuff, that was all Rainer. Uh, and I thought he did a fantastic job in emphasizing the humor and, and timing it, just looking at it and anticipating it. Um, but other than those few places, all composed note for note ahead of time. We actually started rehearsals yesterday morning. Oh, <laughs> my God. Wow. And mainly because there's one thing about this is that... <laughs> sitting out here, that that was astonishing. It, Thank you. Yeah, it was. Uh, the the, the um, experience of watching it and, and the synchronicity that you achieved, down to like a quarter second or something, it was unbelievable. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Faces and the still the freeze frames. Yes. That 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 was just gorgeous. Oh, thank and you. All of the flute mouth noises. Yes, sir. The original sil silent film obviously wouldn't have any kind of click track or reference Correct. track. Did you embed something in that to listen to? Or? Uh, I looked at the footage over and over again, and then for each scene got a basic tempo. Um, and the, the last two sections, I don't know if you'll recall, were pretty much the same tempo all the way through. But there are other sections that just get faster and faster and faster, or slower, slower, slower. So I had to change tempos a lot. And uh, some of it needed click track, some of it almost didn't need click track because it was so regular. Like the slow motion sports part. Yeah. Uh, two more questions. And what are they? <laughs> yes. Yes. What's click track? Well, uh, we all have headphones on, yeah. and those of you that are sitting close probably heard. <laughs> so they're not only watching me, but they're listening to the click, yeah. and it, it helps keep everything together. Really, as a conductor, when you're conducting an orchestra, for example, there's no click, so they have to rely on you 100%. But as somebody just said before, this film has to have critical tempo. There's no room for rubato most of the time. So to keep it together, we had to have something that we've been listening to all the time. So my job was mostly, OK, don't forget to come in here. And OK, this is a 5-4 bar, not a 4-4. So we all had our job to do. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, a uh, question for Bart. Um, is there much information available as to how this film was 
uh, received contemporaneous to its release? Yeah, this is a you know very very famous film. There's been a lot of material written on it, and as you can see, like. MTV owes everything to this film. Yeah. You know, it's like every way in which we think about editing has been predated by what they did here. And of course, you know, nowadays everything is digital. They were literally in very difficult editing rooms with rats running underneath them as they were working and having to use rewinds. You can see the process there. Not a very easy way to do it, but you know, so beautiful in the way it's constructed.